Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain voltage series feedback amplifier analysis. As the name indicates, here voltage sampling is taken. Okay, output low voltage sampling is coming. Similarly, series mixing is used in the input portion. Okay, I will explain this topology with the help of diagram. Any feedback amplifier has two blocks any negative feedback amplifier one is amplifier another block is feedback network another block is feedback network that is represented by letter beta okay here load resistance is connected to the amplifier output okay so here voltage sampling so voltage sampling is used okay voltage sampling at output side so voltage is constant at parallel connection. Voltage is constant at parallel connection. So here parallel connection is used. Here parallel connection is used. Voltage across load resistance is equal to V naught. This is V naught. So same V naught is applied to the input of feedback network. Okay. Now series mixing is used at input side. Series mixing. So here series connection series mixing is used series mixing is used at input side okay so in series connection or series mixing which parameter is affected that is very important so a parameter series connection slow effect obviously voltage parallel low voltage constant okay series low current constant but here series mixing is used that means voltage is affected at input side so here voltage is changed that's why vs is connected vs is connected at input side so this v here vs is there obviously the parameter at this position is also voltage VS on the property, the output of feedback network is also a voltage that is called VF. So here source parameter and the output of feedback network parameter must be same. VS on the property, VF. Obviously, these two signals are out of phase with each other because of negative feedback. So we'll get VI here. VI is equal to VS minus VF. Okay, VF. Now coming to the formulas, basic formulas. So this is amplifier gain. What is the output amplifier gain? What is the output voltage of this amplifier? V naught. What is the input voltage of amplifier? V i. So A is equal to V naught divided by V i. Okay. Similarly, beta. Beta is equal to feedback factor. So for feedback network, Vf is the output, V0 is the input. So therefore, Vf divided by V0 is the beta. Is the beta. Now, amplifier gain with feedback Af. So overall output voltage V0, overall input voltage Vs. So V0 divided by Vs. So these formulas are very important. Now how to draw the equivalent circuit. So first I will draw the output portion of the circuit. So the basic formulas are A is equal to V0 divided by VI, AF is equal to V0 divided by Vs and beta is equal to VF divided by V0. So here output parameter is represented in terms of gain amplifier gain. So V0 is equal to A into VI. So this is A into VI. A into VI is equal to output voltage. So according to Thevenin's theorem, a series resistance, equivalent resistance R0 is connected. Okay. Of course, RL, that is load resistance of a amplifier. RL is equal to load resistance of a amplifier. Okay. Now coming to the input portion here, input resistance is using that is equal to Ri, Ri. So 
which source is connected here voltage source is connected voltage source so that is equal to vs already explained okay now feedback network beta okay feedback network beta again which sampling voltage sampling voltage same voltage is applied so same voltage means obviously here parallel connection is used parallel connection is used okay so input side series mixing series mixing so this is the basic equivalent circuit of a voltage series amplifier basic equivalent circuit of a voltage series amplifier with the parallel connection okay so parallel okay this is the equivalent circuit of a voltage series feedback amplifier voltage across input resistance is v in v in this is v i okay v i so this is the equivalent circuit of a voltage series feedback amplifier now gain how to derive gain formula gain is equal to af is equal to overall output voltage divided by overall input voltage v not divided by vs we know that vs minus vf is equal to vi this is the basic formula why because source and feedback voltages are out of phase with each other so subtraction is takes place finally you'll get the input voltage is equal to vs minus vf so from this vs is equal to vi plus vf vi plus vf okay so vs is equal to vi vi plus vf plus one in end of the name vf is equal to beta into v naught why because beta is equal to vf by v naught so you can vf plus one in the name beta into v naught so e vf plus low beta into v naught so again vs is equal to vi as it is going to mention beta into v naught plus low a is equal to v naught by vi instead of v naught here a into vi is substitute so obviously here vi is taken count we'll get 1 plus a beta okay so vs is equal to vi into 1 plus a beta so i want feedback gain gain with feedback so that is equal to v naught divided by vs so here both lhs and rhs is divided with v naught so vs by v naught is equal to 1 divided by af af is equal to v naught by vs so obviously vs by v naught is equal to 1 divided by af vi divided by v naught so v naught by vi is equal to a so vi by v naught is equal to 1 by a into 1 plus a beta so that is equal to 1 by af is equal to 1 plus a beta divided by a so af is equal to so af is equal to af is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta this is the amplifier gain with feedback now coming to the input resistance coming to the input resistance rif rif how to derive input resistance rif rif is equal to overall voltage vs input voltage vs divided by input current ia okay and ri is equal to input resistance of amplifier so vi divided by ia ఇక్కడ ఓవరాల్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ తీసుకుంటున్నాం కాబట్టి సోర్స్ విఎస్ ను కూడా కన్సిడర్ చేసాం బట్ కరెంట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి ఐఏ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గానే ఉంచేసాం ఓకే సో నో బేసిక్ ఫార్ములా విఐ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు విఎస్ మైనస్ విఎఫ్ సో విఎస్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు విఎస్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు విఎస్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు విఎస్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు విఐ ప్లస్ విఎఫ్ so vi instead of vf here beta into v not is substitute so vi beta into v not beta as it is v not plus a into vi substitute is 
So here VI is taken common, we get 1 plus A beta that is equal to Vs. But I want RIF, Vs divided by IA. So both LHS and RHS is divided with II. So Vs divided by II is equal to RIF. This one is RIF. And VI divided by II. Just observe this one. VI divided by II. So that is equal to RI. Input resistance of amplifier into 1 plus A beta. That means because of series mixing, the amplifier input resistance is increased by the factor of 1 plus A beta. Now coming to the output resistance. So to derive the output resistance, we have to consider only output portion of the circuit. So this is R naught. This is A into B I. This is A into V I. This is here voltage is applied V. So to get output resistance, input must be equal to 0. So V S is equal to 0 and applied voltage to the output portion. So here this V is applied. Okay. So the basic formula Vs minus Vf is equal to Vi. So here Vs is equal to 0. Therefore, we will get Vi is equal to minus Vf. Okay. Now applying the KVL. So this V is equal to here I0 current flows in the output portion. So I0 into R0 plus A into Vi. So I0 into R0 as it is done plus A into Vi. So, ikra A into Vi, Vi plays low, manam n right. Right? This is V naught. V naught is equal to I naught into R naught plus A into Vi. So, Vi plays low, just observe chain. A is equal to V naught divided by Vi. Instead of Vi, here simply, I will write V naught divided by V naught divided by A. Okay. So, sorry. I naught into R naught plus A into, instead of V I, simply substitute this value minus V F. Minus V F. So, therefore, I naught into R naught minus A into V F. Here, instead of this V F, I will substitute beta into V naught. A into, instead of V of, beta into V naught is substituted. E V of place low, beta into V naught rise in. Why? Because beta is equal to V of by V naught. So, that is equal to V naught. So, finally, V naught plus, this minus 10 becomes plus. A beta into V naught, that is equal to I naught into R naught. So, from this equation, here V naught is taken common, 1 plus A beta, that is equal to I naught into R naught. So, you can just observe chain. So, V naught by I naught and R naught divided by 1 plus beta. Just equation observe chain. Just rearrange chain. V naught divided by I naught is equal to R naught divided by 1 plus A beta. Okay, this R naught is the output resistance of amplifier. This is 1 plus A beta factor. V naught by I naught is equal to ROF. ROF is equal to R naught divided by 1 plus A beta. Okay. Output resistance is decreases in the voltage series feedback amplifier. Thank you.